This song is dedicated to my wonderful voice coach, Angela. She had given me the song around the beginning of the time that I started working with her. And when I first listened to it, I did not care about the song. I was like, okay, well, whatever. I didn't really have feelings about it. It's not like I didn't like it or anything. I just didn't care. And so I just kind of brushed off and put it to the side. Um, but I had remembered about the song and I started listening to it about a month or so ago, maybe longer. And I just absolutely fell in love with the song. I don't know why I suddenly started liking the song. I don't know if it's because growing up and me finally realizing who I am, there's a part of me that's drawn to the song. Um, but I love this song and Angela was the one who kind of introduced me to it. So this is why this is dedicated to you, but also you, she has helped me grow in so many ways. Um, I would not be the singer I am if I wasn't working with Angela. When I first moved here, I did not have a mix at all. I mean, I could kind of belt and then I had a head voice and that was about it. There was no man's land in between, like there was nothing. Um, and so it made it really awkward to like sing a bunch of these songs because it's like, oh, you're belting and then all of a sudden you're like have this tiny head voice. Um, and so working with Angela, she really helped me grow and pull the mix out of me and figured out how to make it work with my voice. And I probably wouldn't be in college if that wasn't the case because I would not sound <laughs> as good as I do. Um, I would still sound like a 12 year old girl who doesn't know what she's doing. Um, but she is extremely talented and she's so sweet and she knows what to do to like get stuff out of me and she's always there if you need it and she knows how to work you through your voice and make it as smooth as possible. Um, I'll be sad when I go off to college not being able to work with her every week. Um, so. Yeah, this is dedicated to you. Danny? Mother? Anybody? So this is the tale much too dull to hold me and this is the search and the rush she said would show our story goes on oh i was young i forgot that things outlive me cool was the cake that life a joke something moves to let me know 
special place in my heart um so a I think like a month ago I was doing this workshop with Broadway Artists Alliance online um and I had actually sung this song for Jeremy Jordan and I didn't know that he had actually sung this in the original workshop of the show I had no idea um but just learning that I started freaking out because I was like oh well shit he sung this he knows what it's supposed to be about but I mean, it all worked in the end. Plus, you told me you have a really lovely voice, which made me die inside. I was crying. <laughs> um, but this song also has a really special message, and which is why I want to dedicate this to two very special people, uh, Rick and Del Lewis. Um, I have worked with them ever since I started at Bridgetown, I think maybe two-ish years ago? Two or three? I'm not exactly sure. Um, but they have been a huge part of my journey. If I hadn't gone to Bridgetown, if I hadn't met who Rick was, um, I would definitely be nowhere near where I am today. Um, they have really helped me a lot to grow as a person and a performer. Um, they've kind of helped me grow a little bit stronger and kind of grow the edge that I need. And they're a big part in figuring out who I was as a person. Um, they also know how to get anything out of you. Like, if one of them says, okay, now do this like a lunatic, you'll just do it. Like, you, you don't, they're just the type of people that it's like, you're comfortable doing anything for them and you don't really care. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're definitely a very special part. I know I can go to them for anything. Um, It'll definitely be very sad when I go off to college, um, not being able to see them, but they've had a big part in my journey and they'll always have a special place in my heart. So this song is for you. <laughs> I'm a babe now, it's clear. Trust me on this 
With a long, strange, wonderful trip it's been Right now everything seems so important But time rushes by at a cliff And when you look back, these high school years Will be nothing more than a blip Just a tale to tell This next song is dedicated to someone very special. Um, this is for my acting coach, Christina. Um, I think she's the person who really pushed this whole um, discovery of myself. Um, without her, I mean, she helped me crash down all the walls that I had. <laughs> um, I mean, I would definitely not be the performer I am today without her. Um, whoo, I did not expect to get emotional, okay. Um, I mean, she helped me bring out my inner badass by her being the badass that she is. Um, I mean, she, I would try to back away from something and she just would not have it. Um, and if she didn't do that, I don't think it would have pushed me to where I am. Um, because what I really needed, and I still do kind of need it, is I just need someone to, like, push me, um, to my limits and, like, make me do it and not let me back off. Um, and she was the person who really did that. Um, <laughs> she is someone that I can, like, talk to about anything. Um, but she also has made me realize that I can go deep into myself and find and use all the emotions that I have hidden deep down um to be a performer and realize that that's something that you need to be able to use is just be able to pull this out of you and be able to like show it to the audience and has told me that I need to calm down and not think that I'm acting and just be myself and use my emotions um and so she has been a huge part of this journey <laughs> Um, and also a huge shout out to her because I, in the song you're going to see later, um, I asked her to be a part of it and she does not sing. She is not a singer. <laughs> She's an actor and I love how she was just like, okay, I'm going to do it. Knowing that she's not a singer and it's going to be hard for her and that taught me that I need to not be afraid to do anything. And if something is outside of my comfort zone, I just need to go in and do it. Um, so that was a wonderful learning moment for me. Um, just seeing her do that and just go in knowing that it wasn't her thing. Um, so the song <laughs> is all about not letting anything get to you and being the baddest woman that you are. And so I think this is a perfect fit for Christina. So this is for you.
last song is a very important song to me. It's from a show that has a very important message and I wish it was on Broadway longer. Everyone needs to see it and needs to hear the message. Um, the song had a big impact on me. Not only did I see it like four times on Broadway because I was that obsessed with it, um, but this show also kind of helped me come out to my parents' is by, um, so it kind of helped me in a little bit, like, realize who I was and everything, <laughs> um, and so it's always had a special part in my life because LGBTQ community is a huge part of my life, and it kind of makes me who I am, whether it's friends, family, myself, um, this show was always there when I needed it to be, um, and so I wanted to dedicate the song to everyone out there who's watching this um, or who has been part of my journey. Um, I wouldn't be where I am today without you, without you supporting me, helping me, just being there as a friend or being another performer who has taught me something. Um, and so this, this song is a huge collaboration for people from my past or current. Um, this, this song has people that were there back when I was in Illinois, when uh, my mother had a studio and they did shows with me at, in middle school. Um, there's people in here that I've done New York camps with who I've become really good friends with. Um, they're also in there as well from whether I did a college camp like AMDA or if it was Broadway Artists Alliance. Um, there's some people in there as well and then there are also a ton of people from now as well, whether they're an instructor or <laughs> they're a part of my conservatory or I've been in a show with them they've been a part of my journey and so it's really fun to see everybody come together whether like half these people don't know each other and so it's really fun to see them like become a part of it and be able to be a part of the song um and you know I would also like to thank Finn Rudis for putting this video together 
he's a tech genius. He knows everything technology-wise. Um, and so I'd like to thank him for putting this together. And so this song is dedicated to everyone out there watching this. And also please stay tuned for the end of the video to see some personal dedications that I've left to people. Some uh, hearts can conform, fitting the norm, flaunting their love for all to see. I tried to change, thinking how easy life could be. I just kept on failing, I guess that was a sign that there wasn't much hope for this unruly heart of mine. Then you came along, and right or wrong, feelings began to overflow. We had to hide, thinking that no one else could know. stay hidden anymore. I'm who I am, and I think that's worth fighting for. And nobody out there ever gets to define the life I meant to lead with this unruly heart. Though I don't know how or when But somehow I learned to see No, no matter, matter what, what the world might say This heart is the best part of me So fears fall in the past Fading so fast I won't stay hidden anymore I'm who I am And I think that's worth fighting for
Maggie. Hey, what's up? It's me, Jeremy Jordan. Um, <laughs> um, we recently met, I don't know if you recall, when you sang Enjoy the Trip at, uh, at my master class. Um, I just knew that we would meet again uh, this soon. I had never anticipated. Um, I still remember uh, your performance and uh, how much you grew, and uh, it was a, it was it was it was fun for me because I I think I was the first person to ever sing that song uh, back when I did the workshop a um, million years ago. <laughs> so it was it was a it was a nice trip down memory lane when you sang that. Yeah, uh, great. Best of luck uh, with uh, with uh, your new college uh, major. And um, perhaps one day I'll see you out on the on the Broadway. All right, Maggie. Best of luck.